It's been a little while since I covered a good story about giants, and we all know how much this channel loves the ancient and modern day giant mystery. This next case began when a 15 year old Ralph Glidden moved to Catalina Island in 1896. Catalina Island is located just west of LA. If you took a boat from Long Beach to Catalina Island, the trip would only take about an hour or so, and there are also a few other islands nearby, and this island chain is known as the Channel Islands. Now one day young Ralph was exploring this island when he stumbled upon a skull halfway buried within the dirt. And this discovery changed his life as from that day forward he spent most of his time as an amateur archaeologist and he slowly started to become obsessed. He wanted to know everything that there was to know about these ancient Native Americans that once lived here. And during his lifetime he dug up more than 800 graves and he found more than 4,000 human skeletons. Now Ralph also claimed that there once lived an ancient race of giants on Catalina Island and these giant bones were a lot different than the Native American ones and it seemed that the Native Americans worshipped these giants as sometimes he would find their skeletons buried in large urns and surrounding these urns would be a lot of children. So these extremely tall people were obviously the ones in charge and they might have been seen as gods. But pretty much every archaeologist, scientist and professional did not believe one word of Ralph's story as he did not come forward with these amazing claims until after his sponsors dropped him. So everyone in the professional world believed that Ralph was lying and desperate for more funding. So no one ever went to this island to validate these claims, which is extremely odd as you would imagine that at least one person educated within this field would have gone there to confirm this. But no one ever did and no one knows where these bones are today. Now over the years many people have come forward stating that Ralph was telling the truth as they had either seen him dig up these large skeletons or they saw them while they were on display. And also Ralph was not the only one to dig up giant skeletons within this area. In 1913 a German naturalist dug up an 8 foot skeleton and he had also found some very strange stones that had some very unusual symbols on them. Now because of all these eyewitnesses and photos of these alleged giants this case has been getting a lot of attention over the years. And not that long ago a paranormal researcher, Ellie Marzulli and his team went to Catalina Island to investigate and he uncovered that in one of Ralph's photos just showed that one of these enormous skeletons had six fingers. Which is very interesting as all throughout our history there are legends of giants that possess six fingers. So maybe Ralph was telling the truth. And many Native American tribes do say that their ancestors did encounter these giants and they also had six fingers, six toes and sometimes even two rows of teeth. And when Native Americans used to greet another person they would hold up their hand and say how. And the reason they did this was to see how many fingers the other person had. Which is extremely fascinating given some credibility to these legends about giants. Another interesting case happened on Easter Island in 1722 when an explorer named Byrne stated that when he and his men arrived to this island, in the middle of nowhere, they came face to face with 12 foot tall giants. In his own words, with truth I must say that these savages are more than gigantic size. The men are tall and broad in proportion, averaging 12 feet in height. The tallest men on board our ship could pass between the legs of these children of Goliath without even bending their heads. Now this is an amazing encounter but yet no one talks about it. And there have also been reports of giant bones found on Easter Island by the natives but yet again no one knows what happened to them. Now pretty much every culture on earth has stories and legends about giants so it does make me and many others believe that there must be some sort of truth to these claims. Now we know for a fact that there was another species of human that once lived in Indonesia not that long ago. And this species only grew to be three and a half to four feet tall. So it is extremely possible that there could have been another species, a cousin of ours, that grew to be extremely tall and possessed six fingers, six toes and two rows of teeth. But some believe that they are not a cousin of ours or us homo sapiens but they were aliens or fallen angels. So is this the reason for the cover up? Is this why they don't want us to know the truth? Because they were alien beings? Or maybe because the bible was right? Or are they just so stubborn that they don't want to change the modern theory of human evolution? Now whatever the case may be I just hope that one day one of these skeletons makes its way to the public so we can finally prove once and for all that these whatever they were did exist. And maybe they still do. Until next time this is Paranormal Junkie. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.